everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this fun pop-up book fold card. So this is a 6 by 6 size that I've done and basically you open it up and you have this. So it's very similar to the tri-fold cards, the double tri-fold, but this is a book fold. The insides are, this middle bit here is like a book. You can see there, so you know, I've kept mine, I guess, kind of simple inside. I've just gone for that block turquoise um, colour against the kind of lime yellow, but I've embossed all of them, so there is a lot of texture going on, and then I've just kept all the detail in the two centre pieces there. And um, yeah, wishing you tons of fun, happy birthday, and then I've got my butterflies and so on, and then on the front, I've just used this big gift tag someone special which is the Dovecraft um, stamp set, another little butterfly, ribbon, sequins, nouveau drops, leaves, flowers, just put all sorts on there really. I've used the botanical first edition paper pack and, um, and yeah I just think it's really nice and then you can if you want have your message in here on this piece by all means but I'm just going to have mine on the back here so you know it's entirely up to you how you want to do it but I've got something I want to write on this one so it's all going to be going there so yeah I really like this one so that's what we're going to make so let me grab what I'm going to be using for today's so I've already oh gosh <laughs> so I've already done the front you know I kind of always do that so that is the front of this one that I'm doing and there's my card base so that is going to mat on top with a nice little frame and you can see how that looks there. So for this one I've used these um, Nouveau Drops yellow. Um, let me grab them actually because I've got three of them here. I've got the, this one is English Mustard. This one is Party Pink in the gloss because there is a glitter of that one. And this is uh, the gloss Double Denim. So those colours worked really well with this paper pack. And then this lovely um, panda I fussy cut from the Let's Celebrate paper pack, which I'll show you in a minute. I've used my favourite happy birthday stamp, but I've just heat embossed it with Wow Opaque White embossing powder there. And you can see it's got a nice shine to it. And I've covered all of the panda and the um, balloons and stuff and the presents with Winkers of Stella. So again, it's got a lot of shimmer. Then I've just put a bow down the side there and it's all raised on some foam, ready to stick down. And this is all man mounted on foam as well. So that's my card base. I've made it myself. It's from 12 by six, score along the 12 at six inches and fold in half and it'll give you your six by six card base. Okay, then um, oh, I'll just show you the paper pack. So that's it there. You've seen it a lot, I'll pop all that underneath. And it's slowly, slowly going down, but you always get such good value for money with these. 48 sheets. I mean, it takes a long time, even for me, that's <laughs> creating every day. Um, but I, it is slowly getting done. I think I'm about halfway now. Um, but I adore it. Absolutely love that pack. Okay, so you are going to need... So I've just fussy cut another panda for the inside. Okay, so I've got my... Oh, that's my paper for the back. So if you want to keep your sentiment on the very back like I'm doing, then you need a piece of five and three quarters squared. So I've got that piece ready. I've just jumbled these all up because some of them are different sizes, so I'm going to have to redo that in a minute. They're my two sentiments, just the same as the ones before, but I really like them. And um, I just think they, they're nice because they're small. I've got those, which are going to go in the middle. And then these bits here are for the centre book, so the book fold piece, the, the bit where I've got my messages on. That's two and a half by three and seven, um, sorry, yeah, two and a half by two and seven eighths of an inch, and you want two of those. Let's sort that out in a second. And then your main, I guess, uh, the mechanism, the piece that all folds, the book fold, is um, a piece of 11 and three quarters by five and three quarters. So this is just my standard A4 length. Okay, so first of all, you're going to score along the longest side, which is the 11 and 3 quarters, and you want to score at 3, 5 and 7 eighths of an inch, and 8 and 3 quarters. Then rotate, and along the shorter side, you want to score at 1 and a quarter and 4 and a half. Then flip it back again, and you want to score at 1 and a half, but you want to miss the top bit here and the bottom bit. You can see my score line is just in that middle section and that's at one and a half. So all I'm doing is just hovering my stylus over and then scoring. If you're, not, if you're worried that you might wobble away, you know, all over the place, just grab a ruler, pop 
pop it at one and a half and then just follow your ruler along that top bit and then push your stylus down when you get into the middle section okay and then you want to do that again if you just flip your card and do one and a half again just in that middle section okay so if I just bring that up there that is what you should have so you've got your two long lines here you've got your three your five and seven eighths and your eight and three quarters and then you've just got those two little ones in the middle there okay I'll put a template up as well on my blog just so you can see those lines a bit better and it makes more sense right so that's that bit done and then while I've got my scoreboard out let's quickly tell you what you need here okay I've just sorted them out so you need four pieces that are one and one eighth of an inch by three okay so that's the four obviously if you want to emboss these or you know you might want to layer on top again these might be plain pieces for you it's entirely up to you and then you want um, one two three four five six seven eight pieces that are seven eighths of an inch by two and five eighths of an inch okay let's go get all those bits ready let's get rid of this okay so what we're going to do first of all is we need to do some cutting so grab your trimmer or use a metal ruler and your cutting knife I'm just going to use my trimmer here now you want to first of all so I've popped it along the short inch side and we're going to go down this first score line this is this score line here you want to line up with the track of your trimmer okay so that's that one and a quarter score line so I'm just popping mine in there making sure it's all nice and lined up and then all we're going to do is we're going to cut from um, let me just I don't know whether to do a pencil mark or not no let me just do it and then you'll be able to see so I'm dropping my trimmer blade down here they've got little notches on the side at that inner score line that we done okay so not the score lines that go right the way through but just the one that you done at that one and a half inch mark I've dropped my um, blade down and then I'm going to cut all the way down to the other one okay so if I just bring that up so you can see there so that was that inner score line I've just cut from the start of that one all the way down to the end then rotate your card, pop it back in again and do exactly the same on the other side. So again I've dropped my blade and all the way down. Okay, so you can see now what I've done. You can see those score lines better. Okay, then we just need to do some folding. So first of all, hold the middle bit up like this, okay, and just fold so you're creating a valley fold okay then this one is going to be a mountain then that one will naturally want to go into a valley then the next one will be a mountain just turn my computer down there and then so that one sorry was a mountain and then the last one will be a valley okay then the top one here you're going to fold out so it's a mountain and that sorry a valley then that one's going to be a mountain and then that one's going to be a valley so it's the opposite turn it over again that's a valley middle one's a mountain and that's a valley so can you see now and then just kind of help it along and it will all fold down into this shape and just make sure it's all nice and lined up Okay, and then when you bring it out there's that book fold okay so do the middle bit first fold down so you've got a valley fold first this one and the second piece is a mountain the main middle part of that book fold is a valley another mountain and then you finish with a valley so if I just get rid of that that's how your middle bit should look and then your top and your bottom first fold will go into a valley the middle will be mountains and then valley so you'll have the two mountain pieces here, two mountain pieces here. It should all be opposite to each other, okay? And then it all folds flat. So then grab your card base 
And then what you want to do is when you lay this all down flat, completely flat, it's back into its score, have your middle score line lined up with your middle score line of your card. You're not sticking any of that, but it will help you get everything else lined up and you will have a nice even frame. You see my border there all the way around? Okay, so what I'm going to do is flip it over. To make it easy for you guys, I'm just going to fold it back in to that shape there. So it should, when you know you've done it right, when it all folds into a three by five and three quarter piece, okay? And then what you're going to do is just add glue to this section here. Don't do it on that bit, otherwise nothing will work. So I'm just going to add some of my glue. Oh gosh. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to the front here and I'm going to stick it down because I know what my border is. Like so. And then I'm going to add the glue onto the other end. Again, same piece. Don't go anywhere else apart from this shape here and then again you can kind of lift it up and stick that down but you want to keep it flat because when it folds in half you want it to all obviously line up nicely so again just stick that down and just help it along again once it's all got his mats on again it will stay in, stay in place but now you can just keep that there you go. And I like having that back kind of cut different colour because I think it really helps frame and it almost cre creates like a shadow, a silhouette so you can really see all the, the detail that you've got there on that card. So that's that done. So now you want to stick all of these pieces. So your smaller pieces are to go on the four there and the four there because that's the eight. And then the other four will go in your longer pieces. So one, two, three, four. And then your two squares will go in the middle there. So I'm going to go and get that now all stuck down. Okay, so there I've stuck all those down. And it really does just really make it pop. It brings it all together. I love it. I think it's really fun. I've also done the middle bit there. So wishing you tons of fun. And then I've just continued again with the little panda there and I've put Win Costello again on top. I realised I'd done the happy birthday and I think that's because I was obviously just stamping. Um, whenever I make cards with sentiments I tend to stamp them twice because I know I'm going to do a tutorial um, but actually I don't need happy birthday twice because it's now going to be with this piece so I will peel off all my backing. Okay, bring that one down and you just have a nice even order. And then what I would say is get your bone folder, maybe, well it doesn't really matter whether your mats are on it or not, but just kind of, just burnish the ends of the folded pieces inside. So I've just burnished these two bits, it's just easier to do it, and then I can do that top one, like so. And just get your bone folder in the back there as well, and just kind of... Just work them all in there so you get it nice and flush. There you go. And then I've just got this piece here for the back and I'm just going to stick that one down. Okay, that's all now stuck down, ready for me to write my message on it. So like I said, it all fits nicely into a 6 by 6 envelope. And there you have it. Pop-up book fold card. Love it. I think they're so fun. <laughs> And there's the other one there as well. So two very different styles. This one's more of a adult style, I guess. Um, and I just think that's really, love that. I love those colours. I love that, like, um, lime yellow with that greeny colour. And then this one's just a really fun, happy birthday one. Well, both birthday cards. So there you go. Hope you've liked them, hope I've inspired you. Remember to share them over on my Facebook page, you know I love to see them all. And um, if you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.